This video is a continuation from the previous video, so you probably want to go back and watch that one before you watch this one or start at the beginning. Okay, this is the final video I'm going to do on this to wrap this up and just show you how to um, use what you've learned to improve. Because the really, the better you get at doing this, the better you will be at estimating your time. Therefore, the better you will be at estimating what to charge for a project to be competitive. For those of you who want to eventually own your own businesses, you need to be able to estimate time. And when I was in industry, we used to, we'd get a client and I would have to have input on how much time it was going to take for me to do something. And then I would have to give that to the program director I mean the, pro uh, the project manager, and the project manager would have to come up with an estimate of cost for the client. And so basically what that means is you calculate how much time you're gonna spend doing something, multiply that times not only how much money you want for your salary, but how much money for the equipment, to turn the lights on, to have email, business cards, right? All the things that are involved in a business. and you guys can take the entrepreneurship TCC by the way and I have sent out some emails about that so look for those if you want to learn how to do your own business um, design media students can take those entrepreneurship classes so what you um, what you do the, the better you get at this and the more you do this with your projects the better you get with real life projects and the better you get at putting forward proposals that make you competitive because if you ask for too much money people are going to be like I'm not paying that and they're going to find someone else but at the same time too if you underbid a project right you ask for less money than what it really is going to take to do the project you're going to go out of business and you're going to be hungry so this investment now in figuring out how to plan your projects for your coursework will come into play later on when you have to estimate time that it's going to take you to do something so you know how much to charge for it. Because as artists, we still work on commission. Um, it's a different, you know, commission kind of means something different now than it used to mean in the art world. Art world used to be a commission would you'd find a patron and they would give you money and you would do work exclusively for them um, in terms of painting their portraits. I mean, we still do the same thing now. Clients still pay us money to do work for them. Um, and it's still commission. It's just not really called that. Commission is now sort of seen as something um, that's kind of done as a, as, a, as a bonus. OK, so this is what I did. I went through and I wrote down the actual time that it took me to do stuff. And you could, if you really wanted to, you could highlight the stuff if you really want to be nitpicky, right? You could align this with the highlight down here and align this and again it just goes back to organization and I I know it seems like it's a lot of work for nothing but visually the more you do to carve something into your memory the sooner it gets put into your unconscious memory and the better you retain it okay so I just went through and I said how long it actually took me to do the project and then I came up with my actual total down here. And that is how many hours per day I had to work at four days a week to complete this project. And I'm not far off from my original estimate. In the beginning, you're going to be wildly off. And it is human nature to overestimate your ability and underestimate the amount of time it takes you to do anything. So if you're going to take a stab at guessing in the beginning, double your time. You see this 1.1 contingency that I did? Change that to 2. Just go ahead and multiply it times 2. Here's the thing. If you get your work done earlier, it gives you time to go back and review it and fix any mistakes because I promise you, you're a human being. You're going to make mistakes. I'm sure I've made some typo somewhere in here because I am you know, kind of was doing this as I went. When you have time to go back and review your work and tweak it to make it better, you blow the competition away. Those of you who get a reputation for doing excellent work at a fair price are going to find out that your clients recommend you to other clients. And you, after a while, don't have to do a whole lot of marketing. The work is just going to come to you. Okay? So 
I learned all this the hard way um, <laughs> from industry, but I will tell you, this is what made me successful. I worked for some of the design, top design firms in the country, and I worked alongside people who had master's degrees from Harvard and Yale and UCLA, and I didn't. I only have a bachelor's degree in architecture from um, now Kennesaw State, it was Southern, Southern Poly. Southern Tech at the time, and an Associate of Fine Art from Young Harris College. And that's it, that's, well actually, I do have a certification in photography from Harvard and a paralegal certification from Emory, because I realized later on in life that those things matter, prestige matters. Um, unfortunately it does. But the way around that is to, because I, you know, I didn't, I didn't go to Harvard the first time around, the way to get around that is to work hard and prove yourself. People will eventually get over whatever stereotypes they may have in the beginning. When I was um, working as a, as a designer, I was working on a project, we went to a meeting and I was listening to the client talk. And the client turned to the owner of the company and said, I don't think a whole lot of your designer. By the end of the project, the owner came to me and told me this story and said, I just got off the phone with him and he said, you're the best designer he's ever worked with. Okay, so people may judge you in the beginning and in my case it was because I was a woman. Um, and they may do that and you can't, you can't change that initial impression, but you can change the relationship by doing a great job and this is one of the ways to do it. So try it and see how it works and then try it again. And as you keep doing it, and you keep getting better at it, it will eventually get easier and easier until it's unconscious and you know what you're doing, and now you have a skill that is going to help you meet your deadlines for the rest of your life, okay? Um, we'll do additional videos on additional topics, but we're gonna wrap this one up here. Um, I hope it's helped, and have a, have, have fun.